I think there are four key things that make Graveney the really special school that it is. And the first of these is the long and proud history of tradition that we have here, with roots dating back to the 17th century. But having said that, we can also lay claim to some of the best in modern architectural design. So this eclectic mix of buildings, together with our beautiful campus-style site, gives Graveney a very collegiate feel, very much more feeling like a university than a school. We have a rich diversity of students here at Graveney, speaking over 60 different languages at home and coming from a wide range of socio-economic and ethnic backgrounds. Students and staff get on happily together. They work well, harmoniously, and it makes Graveney feel a safe and happy place and somewhere where students feel that they can belong. Thirdly, our staff are very well qualified. When you walk into our classrooms, you'll feel a palpable sense of aspiration in the air, and you'll see students who are focused, eager, and ready to learn. And finally, staff and students build professional bonds and friendships here at Graveney that last for a very long time and often well after they've left school. We're a very diverse student body. One thing our students do share though is that they are ambitious, they're adventurous, they're confident, they're courageous and they're empowered and equipped to take their place in the world alongside students of all other backgrounds. All of the components, the students, the teachers, the classrooms, the whole campus is like built so that the students have the most comfortable time, that they get the most out of their learning and reach your maximum potential. They're preparing you for going off to uni, so as young adults, like we have quite a lot of freedom, but also they push you when you need to be pushed and crack down on your work when they need to. Um, my best bits is definitely the learning because in primary there's definitely a limit and in secondary it's like honestly beyond. One of my uh, favourite things about being in secondary is just the freedom that you're given. You can make your own decisions and decide what you want to do with your future. Of course academic success is important, it's the main reason why students come here. But Ofsted once said about us that we're about more than academic success, we're about the development of the whole person. And I think that's absolutely true. And we're deeply proud of our students. I chose Graveney mainly because of the size, the grades as well, I thought would motivate me to become one of the A students. It's a really nice place to be, lots of green space, nice people. Um, and I think it's just a really, really great place to to spend my time. I studied at Graveney Secondary School and I decided to stay because I know that I would get the support from the teachers and staff to help me go to university. My first day of school was really good. I was nervous as well because it was my first year in secondary and I missed out a lot on primary because of Covid but it was really good and we even got free juices. Yeah, everyone going to big school worries about being the youngest, but it's actually fine because you don't really notice you're the youngest when you make friends. Also, um, if you get involved with different things like clubs and different lessons, and you talk to people that you haven't seen before, or you start to know your way around and start to know different things about the school, which makes you feel part of it even more. You also realise whilst walking around school, lots of the older kids are very nice and they'll help you find your way around school. Settling in, it was all right actually. I was a bit daunted on my first day because there was just lots of new people who already knew each other. But it was easy. People just came up to me, they were friendly and yeah, we just got rolling. We know we're a really big school, but we also know we're a school with really experienced colleagues and that means that over a long period of time we've been able to establish some really good systems. The trick is starting early, so as soon as offers go out, that's when the work to support our new cohort begins. We think about what the children might need as they arrive, the things that will be worrying for them and the things that they're most looking forward to, and we start to talk to them about that from March onwards. We use a section of our website to give them some ideas about how it might be when they join secondary school and we start to write to their families. Behind the scenes, we're also doing lots of work with their primary schools, finding out about who they are, what's important to them, the things that they've found easy, but also some of the things they've found more tricky. And that means by the time they arrive with us, they're already children that we've got to know really well and we have a dedicated pastoral team who really get to know our kids and I think that's one of our real strengths. The staff here have worked here for a long time in lots of ways. I've been here for 20 years and so I know my school and I get to understand really what helps the children settle in 
and the things that they might find most tricky. The pastoral system is a time and tested system that's been here way before I've been at Graveney. Um, essentially, the head of year and the deputy head of year and the tutors follow their children right the way through from year seven through to year 11. And that means that they can really bond with them and they can really see them flourish from like immature year seven, really needy, and then they suddenly become these mature young adults. So yeah, it's a great way of getting the children through their journey at Graveney. One of the best things about Graveney and how we support students is that we have a team of people that stay with the children as they move through the school. So that means they have people that really know who they are, really understand what support they need and how best to help them succeed throughout Key Stage 3. And then at the end of year nine, we have graduation, which means that at the end of the three years, they've shown what achievements they've made academically, but also outside of the classroom. And in order to get a good graduation, they need to show that they've behaved really well as well. My favorite memory from Key Stage 3 was Outward Bound, because there are lots of fun activities to participate in, and I interacted with many more people. I really enjoyed the Big Sing, which was like a big concert where we all sang together and we'd done a load of preparation for it and music and a few weeks before, I really enjoyed it. Well, my favourite part of Key Stage 3 was like, maybe a week of well-being. Uh, we went on the bus tour and we met Simon Cow on Hyde Park. Um, my favourite memory from Key Stage 3 is when we had the week of well-being and we went to the cinema and we watched Into the Heights and it was really good. At Graveney, we think that students should be able to access the broadest possible curriculum for the longest possible time. This means that we teach the national curriculum across the full three years at Key Stage 3, across years 7, 8 and 9. If we teach it over three years, it means there's plenty of time for students to really explore their interests. Um, my favourite lesson is music because I like playing and listening and singing and everything. My favourite lesson is probably English because I like being creative and just writing different types of stories, including like poems. My favourite lesson is computing, as you learn skills you wouldn't know before, like coding. But what makes us really different is not just the breadth of our provision at Key Stage 3, but the fact that it's taught by subject specialists. We provide a wide range of technology disciplines from Year 7. Students can study French or Spanish during the school day, and they can take German after school if they want to. C'est très bien qu'on peut apprendre cinq différents langues à Graveney. Learning languages is important because it's very useful to learn other languages and learn about cultures. It is also important to communicate with other nations. You can also mix with your peers around the world. We can broaden our speech past our country's horizons and develop the international lifestyle. We also teach PSHE and drama as part of the timetable day. And we offer after-school classes in astronomy, in Latin, Mandarin, philosophy and music for students when they reach years eight and year nine. This curriculum really sets them up to go on to do almost anything that they might want to do. And then we apply the same philosophy of promoting a broad curriculum at Key Stage 4. Pathways in year 10 provide a range of tailored options within which further personalisation can be put in place if necessary. We encourage students to take the core EBAC subjects as part of their choices because we know this will maintain access for them to a wide range of subjects at A-level. Almost 75% of our students take the EBAC, and our students will typically leave Graveney with between 8 and 11 GCSEs. We've got a very wide range of subject choices. We have around 30 different courses in the sixth form. We're really well resourced in the subjects which require specialist facilities. So to give you some examples, students who study film or media, they have access to all the cameras, lights, to you know do their own film shoots. And then of course, we have a couple of Mac suites dedicated for those subjects with all the sort of editing programs and so on that the students need. Our drama studio has a full lighting rig in it. Our state-of-the-art technology department has things like 3D printers in it. In music, for instance, we have a very wide range of instruments that students can learn. We've got a whole suite of practice rooms. So there's a huge range of facilities to support students' learning. 
Whilst there are lots of opportunities in lessons at Graveney, music really thrives outside of the classroom in our extracurricular programme. Uh, we have a variety of offerings, particularly lower down the school, choirs, orchestras, bands. There are a team of 24 different peripatetic instrumental teachers who teach instruments from the drums to the bassoon to the oboe. And throughout the year, we have a variety of different concerts in which Graveney students get to perform. Some in school, some external events, things like the Royal Festival Hall, the Royal Albert Hall with other schools from the local borough. And we aim to include lots of different instruments in all of our ensembles. So you'll see things like orchestras and you'll see things like uh, bands, but we have opportunities for contemporary instrumentalists as well, a gig night with drummers, bassists, singers. And we really love the community that it creates all through down the school. And they're making music together of the highest quality. And students generally leave us with a real feeling of community, like they've been part of something. The moment the Saints, I want to have really big smiles and imagine you are singing to hundreds of people. I think one of the things that we are so good at is really supporting students to develop outside of the classroom. And we do this because we want them to become confident and resilient and caring citizens of the world with an ability to change things. And that starts when they come in year seven and it goes right throughout to in year 13. And we will build a real community here of students who think beyond their lessons and do things beyond their lessons. And we're really proud of them. I think this school's good as well. Um, one of my best bits of um, being at secondary is that they have much more variety of food and the trips are much better than primary school because some of the trips you get to go abroad and day trips. So when students join Graveney in year seven, they're all expected to attend an Outward Bound expedition in Snowdonia in North Wales. And this is a hugely character forming experience. We put them through their paces, they have some hard challenges to deal with, but they do so in a community where they help each other and they support each other. And it really helps foster that community spirit that we have here. Later on in the school, they get to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh Award. And we think we're probably the largest centre in the country with over 400 students every year taking part in expeditions. And that learning that takes place in those experiences is really life forming and life changing. So one of the things we're proudest of in Graveney is the number of our older students who volunteer to take part in one of the many schemes that we operate. So every year we have over 200 students apply to take part in one of these, which might be helping out students in year seven with their reading or their maths or year 11s with their GCSE studies, or even year 13s helping year 12. So it really goes right throughout the school. One of the great opportunities about having gone to Graveney is that now as a year 14, I can come back and work for the school. Currently I help with the intervention classes and I sit in and give the students extra support. As well, when I was in year 12, I was able to be a year seven maths partner, helping them with anything they struggled with and watching them improve week by week really helped my confidence. And it was great being able to give back to something that helped me so much. I'm also an ex Graveney student. Um, I've come back to help students with GCSEs um, and I was actually a reading partner, a um, bit different from the maths. Um, I helped Year 7s with their reading, um, building up confidence and sort of supporting them around school. I was sort of a familiar face because um, I was doing my A-levels and I was in the same position when I was younger and I just loved the fact that I could give something back and help out basically, yeah. I enjoyed the Reading Partners programme because before that I didn't really read but afterwards I started reading a lot more science books and Diary of Wimpy Kids and a lot more sport books as well. Before I didn't like mystery books but after I read like a few books I've started to get interested in more. I've learnt some words that I didn't know in books. I've learnt the meaning to them. So the house system, we have five houses at Graveney and every student is a member of a house. And the point of the house system is to make sure that students really intermingle and really get to know each other beyond their form room and their year group. So it mixes all students and they take part in all sorts of activities, which again, just help with their all round development. Uh, the thing I enjoy most about the house system in Graveney is the competitions. I think that it's great that all the students get to experience things that they might not be able to in other schools. My favourite competition would probably be Graveney's Got Talent because the New Year 7s, they can have a chance to compete with all the other years. I played five songs in a medley on guitar. I played Layla by Eric Clapton, 
Thunderstruck by ACDC and Black Dog by Led Zeppelin, just to name a few. I actually ended up winning, so that was a pretty good experience for me as a New Year 7. If you don't feel like doing one competition, there'll always be one that you will enjoy doing, and there are many different things that you can win and like participate in. Um, you can join any club really, after school club, lunchtime clubs, and there's like loads of clubs that you will all enjoy. Yeah, there's also lots of house competitions, like they do um, bake-offs and like you can make stuff to do with occasions like World Book Day. And I have, I join um, Creative Writing Club, which is really fun. Yeah, and um, I do Drama Club and it's like really, really fun. Yeah, and you can also join sports clubs and if you're good enough to get on the team, you can play against other schools. I'm an A-level student studying maths, further maths, physics, music and French. In year 11, I studied GCSE astronomy as a twilight subject, which meant I studied it outside of the formal school timetable. One thing I enjoyed about studying GCSE astronomy is that I learned the difference between constellations and asterisms, and I learned how to draw them. For example, Cassiopeia, which is shaped like a W, which is easy to spot in the night sky. Our alumni visit us frequently. They come back to give inspirational speeches to our younger students, or sometimes to man a stall at our higher education fair. And quite a large number of them come back to work for us. They come back as teaching assistants or teachers. And sometimes our alumni just come back to visit because they want to say hello and they want to tell us what they've been doing since they've left. I'm an ex-student in year 12. I took part in a gene therapy research project in association with UCL looking at how we can modify T cells to defeat cancer. Four years later, it's really helped me throughout uh, my career in medicine. I'm currently studying medicine at Leeds University. Science is important to students because it helps students question um, the world around them and think of solutions to problems in the world. It built teamwork. It developed skills that I could use later on. It was very useful for applications. It helps with independent learning skills. It's also a good way to just to develop a desire to work towards something good in the world. Here at Gravely, we really try and value a wide range of sports, going from uh, football and netball to some individual sports such as bouldering and uh, rock climbing, as well as table tennis and gymnastics. The main ambition here at Gravenie is to really promote that love of sport and exercise both inside school as well as outside school and the main thing is actually finding students to find their sports that they really do enjoy. My favourite sport is rugby, I play for two teams, Ironsides and Wolves, one's contact, one is touch. I think it's an incredible sport, it's such a nice relief from schoolwork, it gets you active, it makes you fit and it brings you really close together to the people on your team. We have a bunch of different sports teams like netball and football and obviously table tennis is something that we do to just ease into like the term here at Graveney. The team sports especially give off a sense of unity because you need every single person on that team to work together and it's a really important lesson to learn for later in life. It gives like a really big sense of pride when you play with your school and you even if you lose or you win. It's such a good feeling. Here at Gravenie, it's really important to make sure there is equality between um, sort of a sports between boys and girls. So um, all clubs are open to um, all genders and we really try and promote that equality. Diversity brings many advantages. We get diversity of thought and ideas and that's essential to keep any institution dynamic and evolving. At Graveney, we want to make sure that all students and staff feel that they are valued, that they're visible and that they belong. We try to ensure that they can see themselves as they move around the site, in their studies, in the opportunities we make available to them and in the staff who teach them. We make good use of our pastoral time to ensure that we have a rolling programme of tutorials and activities which celebrate the diversity of our school community. We also have some virtual community classrooms which are sometimes curated by the students themselves and they provide another opportunity to be able to share and celebrate the diversity of the school. We've also been looking very carefully at our curriculum to make sure that we find as many opportunities as we can 
to include and celebrate a diverse range of voices and contributions across all subject areas and we absolutely recognise the importance of this representation. Graveney is a happy place and there have been people that have been here longer than me simply because of that very reason and it has a lot to offer students and to everybody that comes here. My advice to a year six would be not to be nervous, be yourself and just concentrate on all of your lessons. You'll make friends really easily and the teachers are very welcoming here. Um, don't worry about your homework because you have organisers so everything is fine and like it's not like you have to stay up all night to do your homework, everything's really organised. Uh, don't stress because it's only your first year of secondary school. You can just relax but concentrate on your lessons. Students apply to Graveney because they know it's going to make them a better person and it's going to equip them with all of the knowledge that they're going to need to take their place in the world. The best bit about my job is getting to know and working with individuals. Uh, I like supporting them in making a transition from whatever school they were at before, uh, supporting them at each step along the journey and then supporting them in making their decisions about where they're going to go after they leave us. It's really hard to pin down what my favourite thing is about the school, but I love the fact that our students are so interesting, so engaged. They're such vital and enthusiastic young people, and I love working with them. There are so many students who are so different, so unique, and it is, it's, it's an exciting thing every day. That's really immensely rewarding. It's a privilege, actually. One of the things that we're most proud about at Graveney is the incredible progress that's made by our students. In the last year, where there were examined results, our students made, on average, half a grade more in every one of their GCSEs than other students did nationally. And our disadvantaged students did even better. Their progress put them higher than non-disadvantaged students across the rest of the country. The message is very clear. Whatever your socio-economic or ethnic background, if you come to Graveney and you work hard, you will succeed. There's never ever a feeling of things being stale here. There's always a feeling of things changing, developing. We're an institution that's moving forward and what moves us forward is our students. I could use a lot of words to describe Graveney, but I think if I was to sum up, it would just be probably the best decision of my life, definitely.